Hey you guys, so as you know, my last video was 25 facts, and I just listed a whole bunch of facts about me. So, I'm kind of a list person, and um, yeah, my f this is my list, the top five reasons I wish I was a dude. Okay, maybe it's just me, maybe it's the people too, but in any event, these are my reasons why I want to be a guy. Just a little inside my mind thing. Um, reason number one, bathroom. I mean, honestly, have you ever noticed that the girls' bathroom is all the way down the corridor with the big ass line? My arm looks like a chip. Quack, 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 quack. quack. <laughs> My apologies. Honestly, though, back to the original topic. Why are girls' bathrooms always so crowded and all the way at the end of the line? I mean, and why do we have to wait like 10 minutes just to go pee? Do guys go through this? No, because guys, they have their bathrooms just around the corner, and then we'd be like, if there is a line, like two people. Because it's easy, you just whip it out, you pee, you walk away. Simple as that. Girls, if you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> okay? Number two, this is a touchy subject, because I know guys hate talking about it, girls hate going through it, Honestly, man, periods are the worst thing to go through. It's like someone's deciding to punch you in the stomach and make you bleed in the worst place possible. I mean, and then when you get stains? Just, why? I mean, guys will always complain. Oh, yeah, getting hit in the ball is the big thing. Yeah, imagine getting kicked in the uterus multiple times for a week. And then when you're a guy, it's like one time and then it's over with, you know? It's over with, you can't even tell unless you cry. <laughs> and I make guys cry. <laughs> but still, with a girl, you get kicked in this uterus. You bleed, so everyone knows. And you get stains sometimes. I mean, why? And then, when you don't get it, you freak out! Why? I mean, why do girls have to go through this? It's so annoying. It truly is. <laughs> Number three, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I cannot stand a really girly, high-pitched voice. I mean, I'm glad my voice is kind of lower, but can you imagine being a guy and having one of those really hot, deep voices like Andy Beersax? It's like, holy Jesus, please don't stop talking. If you had that kind of voice, I wouldn't stop talking. I'd just be like, yep. My voice sounds like sex and honey and cigarettes. Those are the best ways to describe his Andy's voice. So, if you guys know what I'm talking about, gr guys, if you have a deep voice, that is automatically attractive to girls like me. Maybe it's just me, but honestly, if I could change my voice, I would make it deeper. Because guys' voices are so awesome when they're so deep. Maybe it's just me, but that's just me. <laughs> Number four. I go to a school, right, where in the winter we have to wear skirts and stockings. Like, what the hell? And even then, it's still cold. Whereas the guys get to walk around in pants. Skirts, dresses, and stockings, and high heels. Some of the worst things ever created by mankind. They bug the hell out of me. Maybe it's just me, once again, but I just mm, can't stand it. Ugh, I hate stockings. I mean, if when I can, I'll wear pants. But guys, they get to wear it all the time. They get to wear the pants, they get to wear sweaters, whatever. They just rock up and whatever. It's so annoying. Whereas when a girl has to get ready for something important, it's always skirts or dresses. I mean, why can't I be like the dude and just rock up in a dress shirt and a pair of jeans? Ugh. I wish I was a guy in this instant. And lastly, number five. I mean, I guess there's that big, like, history thing about how guys were better than girls for the longest time. My fingers are doing a wave. But... <laughs> Back to my original topic, again. Um, what up? I mean, 
feminism, I get that. I really do. But I feel like... Honestly, you don't see guys firing shots at girls seriously all the time. I mean, you'll hear the occasional get back in the kitchen joke, in which case you hit them in the face. Or the balls, whatever one's closer. But you never hear guys genuinely blame a girl for something. Whereas some of the femin- not all feminists. I mean, it's equality, you know? The equal sign. Not, you know, girls are better than guys for this X, Y, and Z, right? You never hear a guy actually take, like, a real dig at a girl. But girls always do it. It's like, oh, you know, why can't a guy do this? Oh, because he's a guy. Something. I mean, that's a terrible example. But, like, my history teacher the other day made a feminist joke, right? She said, what's the difference between the guys and girls? Guys, well, no. No, that's not it. Got it back. My brain's... I have a headache. My brains have gone today. But, um, <laughs> she said, what's the difference between males and females? Females don't walk around bald, fat, and old thinking they're sexy. And all the girls laughed and laughed, and I'm like, really? I mean, not all guys are like that. I mean, and guys, there's like in a bonus number six. Guys don't have to, like, put so much effort into their appearance like some girls do. I mean, honestly, I'm planning to have my date with this really nice guy. He's 19, he's got dimples, and he's so cute, and he's really nice. But, like, what he'll probably end up doing is putting on some jeans and a nice shirt and meeting me out somewhere. What I'm going to be doing, making sure my hair looks right, have some makeup on, just a little bit to make me look prettier, plan my outfit so I don't look like a, so I don't look like a slag, but I don't look like a prude. You know, it's... It's these little things that girls take into consideration that guys don't need to. Guys don't need to make sure that their hair looks good, or that their eyes pop out, or that their dress matches their complexion. I'm not one of those girls, but still. Why don't guys have to go through this? Anyway, my rant is pretty much over. It's still going on in my head, but I feel like you guys need to know. So yeah, this is me signing off. Uh, remember to pray the Lama God. If not, he will spit in us all. It'll be your fault. Because he controls the weather. When he spits, it rains, baby. <laughs> See ya!